All right, so this is David Lee right here, the guy in the blue shirt with the long fins that we're gonna end up um, taking Pedro in the water today. So that'll be kind of fun. We won't drown him though. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so today what we're gonna do, we're gonna do basically an introduction to free diving, just in case you didn't know. Um, I have five world records in free diving. You probably didn't know that. No, no, no. Right, no. so world, world record meaning you hold your breath and you swim down as deep as you can. No fins, no nothing, just Something like this, so and a nose see. clip. Right? Oh, the nose clip, right. okay. And then you swim down breaststroke. So I don't wear these things. I wear a wetsuit and a weight belt, but everything that you do, you have to bring it back up. So uh, this is long before you're born, right? <laughs> before water was invented, right? Um, but you look lately like 35, so I, I wish I'm <laughs> seven, I think. So I'm like, I'm old, I'm an old fogey. But um, yes, yeah, so the last record that I did was a 65 meters, so it's 213 feet. So you hold your breath, you swim down and swim back. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna get you to do 200 feet today. No air. <laughs> Just kidding. That's crazy. <laughs> right. No, but uh, I wanted to show you this. This is pretty much a little bit different than your traditional. Uh, trust me, I know, I know. But isn't these for like the deep sea diving type of vibe? Yeah, but you know, also because the fins are a little bit longer, they help you to move through the water a little bit more efficiently. So you can get from point A to point, point B, B without using as much energy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, when you're swimming down and up, you move a little bit faster without too much work. Work, I know. Right. So today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the gym and the pool. We're gonna talk a little bit about free diving and the safety aspects and how to not kill yourself and those kind of things. <laughs> And then we're gonna do some skills in the pool, and then when I notice that you're comfortable, we we'll take you in, in for the real deal. All right. And so that's all gonna happen. Today. Like how how deep is the pool? Well, the pool's not deep, but we have a pool that is 25 meters long down there. So it's, oh, it's, oh, oh, oh. so what we're gonna do? We're gonna swim horizontally. It's 82 feet long. Okay. Right. So we'll do some tests and just kicking on the water, and then try to see how far we can get you without <laughs> dying. <laughs> We're not gonna kill him today. Not today, but m maybe. I'm not. <laughs> it's just that the snorkeling for my channel is not so in depth because I don't really have much people for actually snorkel with. Right. So trying to find people where yo who, who can film and mm -hmm. do the whole snorkeling thing kind of hard. Right. You get me. So it just come like us me alone most of the time. I'm yeah. me alone did I go forward today. But right. Right. Let's see how so I mean it it, it it is difficult to film yourself as you can tell even on the land and then when yes. you're in the water so crazy that, that's the other thing that I didn't mention so yes I have a background in free diving but I also do a lot of underwater media creation as well which we end up gonna go do yeah, yeah, yeah. later on yeah but the bit the, the thing that most people would overlook when they're getting ready to go in the water and film is that filming is quite a complex thing in itself Self. right and then if they're not comfortable in the water and they go in and they think they're gonna film and focus on composition and white balancing and all of these things <laughs> all of that goes out the door that's me and that's then me. all you're worried about is how do i keep from drowning and that's your that's the main focus right? yeah, that, that, that's true that's true because that's basically me and then because i use the door the gopro with the door me can't really dive in it's kind of hard you know you need a two sometimes you need both hands to swim one but to swim one have the camera right kind of tedious no filming yourself is is difficult yeah. no matter at what level whether you're using a gopro or a big rig mm -hmm. or something like that so you really need somebody in the water so if you ever want to film and the water is nice and clear here just come to portland mm -hmm. and i will film you film you that's the thing or i will come over to kingston although the water over there is not as uh, clear as no, here there's no water in kingston there's no clear water in kingston <laughs> none at all so yeah, man. Some of the scuba divers might disagree with you, you know. Oh no, 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 no! That's scuba diving. That's way old. That's way right. old. That's different. That's different okay. from the shore. Right. That's different so from the yeah, shore. so we're gonna focus on a couple things. Is one to get you a little bit more comfortable in the water, right? Yeah. Teach you about um, technique and safety for free diving, and then also the next component is you know how do you get better shots. Oh, that's, you that's know, what I look I'll for. show you what equipment I'm using and then we can take a, a look at your GoPro setup as well right. and then see if there's any kind of tweaking to be done there be and done. then we're gonna be doing the training and stuff here in the facility the, the training facility which is where we uh, do all our free diving training and then after that we're gonna go to the Blue Lagoon which is a sinkhole right in the middle of Port Antonio for those people is that actual sink is a sinkhole it is a sinkhole how deep is it 
Uh, 172 feet to the, the deepest point. Yeah, so he's going there today, right? That, that's how deep it was for him? Yeah, actually it was deeper. Like back in the 80s, early 90s, it was 213 feet. And then because of the trees and silt and these kind of things, as it is starting I to was, fill yo, up. I was thinking about 20, 30 feet, but 100. No, that... okay, so you see this pool? It's, it's almost three times the length of the pool here. that you look Going at. down. Yeah, one way. Right, so you got to do that and then come back. So if you go into the bottom and back, is six times that, <laughs> that pool, right? That's crazy. This is the long fins for free diving. They will sell these in different kinds of material. This one is particu in particular is carbon fiber. I love the, the look though. And yeah, it works really well because one thing is carbon fiber doesn't have any memory. And when they say memory is that if you bend a plastic blade overnight and leave it like this, oh, you see it kind of stays there when it comes in, in the morning. So I have, that, I have one, that issue with my fins. Right. Like so, it bend and stay bend. Yeah, so you, then you have to go spend some bag of money. But you have to kind of think, you know, is it worth it for you to get carbon fiber fins? How much time do you spend in the water? All my time is in the water. So then I invest in the, the good gear, right? Um, this particular <laughs> pair of fins, were, were I, I think I paid nearly $600 for this pair of fins. But they start, like a good pair of carbon fiber fins, will, you can get them for about 250 and then they go all the way up even close to a thousand US dollars for a pair of fins. So it's nuts. It's just it's right up there with um, camera gear, right? <laughs> so like that, that's the thing right about now. it is that if you, it just depends on how much time you're spending in the water, right? Are you going to be spending more than say two times a month in the water? No, I, I don't take it this serious. Right, so, so uh, I'm in the water at least three, four times a week. Oh. So then, for me, and the thing about it, if you take good care of them, they last you forever. Yeah, My la I just got this pair maybe, I don't know, maybe six, eight months ago. And then my previous pair, I had it for 20 years. 20? Yeah, how old are you? Uh, 29. Yeah, so when you were nine, I bought that pair of fins and I just hung you, it you, up. Why does it make it so It's so old, but you don't look it, you don't look it. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's the sun and the salt water. Oh, Must okay. be. Right, so we'll get everybody in it. So this is the fins, right? The fins basically help you to move from point A to point, point B, B yeah. efficiently and without much energy. And then of course, you have your mask. Now you're gonna notice that some masks look different than some. This is a, in, this is a free diving mask, right? So it's a low volume mask, meaning there's very little amount of air inside. And if there's little air, and a, wh why there's little air, is because as you dive deeper, there, is, there is pressure, yeah. right? And then it will squish onto your face and then cause all kind of squeezes and these kind of things. And sometimes it cause, you know, like blood vessels to break in your eye and all, and you get a completely bloodshot looking eye. So th there's, these are all the fun things that you haven't learned about yet. <laughs> But those things can happen. That's crazy. Now, as you go deeper, the mask gets squished onto your face. I know about that. Right? And then yeah. normally what you would do is exhale through your nose a little bit, and then you push air into the mask to keep it off your face, because otherwise it's just super uncomfortable. And then you can imagine if you're diving to say 20 feet, and then you already feel that pressure. Imagine when you go to 100, 150, 200 feet with a mask on, it, it can hurt, right? So you have to be able to understand how to do that. And the less air inside the mask, the better it is for diving. And you can notice all different kinds. They'll have different shapes. And some of the scuba diving ones have a little glass I, on I the like, side. I like, I, like the, the light, I like the glass one, it does, it does look cool. You're talking about like the full, yeah, the full, full glass. glass? Yeah, you will see even some of the free diving ones. Just but the, most of the free diving ones, they, they're not so focused on you seeing pretty things and videoing and all of that. <laughs> they just want to get you deep and deep back up, comfortable, and it, yeah. right? Now, when, I like for instance, sense. when I go and shoot, I don't use this mask. I rarely use this mask when I shoot because I want to see things. Mm -hmm. you know? I want to see what's going on, I want to see that stingray over there. And when I'm working on the camera and changing settings on the water, I want to be able to see well. I can do it with this, but I prefer a bigger mask, right? Mm -hmm. I want more real estate. I want to see like I'm in the IMAX movie when uh -huh. I'm And then, of course, this is the snorkel, right? Everybody in Jamaica, like air pipe. Somebody, like the Impala for you? You haven't heard it called it? No. Okay, well, you haven't been around um, much water people in Jamaica, but they call it air pipe, right? Um, the snorkel, it allows you, of course, to have your face down in the water and breathe, and then 
One thing that you don't want to do when you're snorkeling and you have this is don't dive and keep the snorkel in your mouth. Now many people when they dive on the water and then they come back up, you know, they keep it in their mouth and the snorkel is all full of water. And then what do they do when they go? And, and they blow the water out the top, you see, like a whale, right? <laughs> but it's, it's, it's the worst thing that you can do because the next thing I will tell you about is the safety aspect or the dangers of free diving. And one of the most dangerous things in free diving is something they call shallow water blackout meaning you actually lose consciousness. And I've actually, unfortunately, lost a few friends in free diving to that. So that's sort of the goal today, is to introduce you, um, get you caught up with all of the safety aspects, the things that can happen. Um, the, the people that you're gonna find mostly that, that end up in trouble are the ones who spend more time in the water, the ones who are too comfortable. In the water. They, they have this, um, confidence that oh yeah i can do this i'm good right? i'm good and then unfortunately they take themselves past that point the limit okay. right typical wetsuit this one is a thin one this is one millimeter so um they say one millimeter when they talk about the thickness of the suit mm -hmm. right oh, the, and, okay and the thicker the suit the more warm the suit is and the way that the wetsuits work is usually if you're looking for warmth the water is trapped between your skin and the suit, and then your body warms that water, right? And then that keeps you warm in the water. This suit is what's going to make you less exposed to the elements, keep you warm so you're not shivering and that so kind that, of stuff. So if you're shaking on the water, right, you're losing energy. And then yeah. that is the energy that would keep you comfortable underwater while you're diving. And that's why I come up. So you usually get cold in the water? Yeah. Because you have cold. no fat on you, right? <laughs> So, yeah, pe people who will have a little bit of fat is like insulation. <laughs> so they're, they're not so um, uh, susceptible to the cold. But people who are have very thin skin and not much subcutaneous mm -hmm. fat, mm -hmm. you're gonna find you lose you lose um, body heat really fast. And then these things really help you to retain retain body heat. Now, when you go to the lagoon, the lagoon has some natural springs running out in there, and the water is colder on the surface so you will be swimming and then you was like oh it's warm oh my god it's cold it's warm it's cold, cold. It's warm. yeah so, yeah i know so back and forth <clears throat> now the lagoon is not necessarily the best place for filming because of the mix of the cold and the mm -hmm. warm water it, it creates this weird haze and it doesn't oh, look I clear think, oh i think i know it like it oh it's it, normally on the top like the first Two, three feet you will see it. yeah see like it's i'm like what is what's this you're right so i can every, see this white thing yeah, like everywhere that you go that to dive that you have natural springs or rivers coming out in the water when the salt water and the fresh water mix, mix. and the temperature is there okay. you're gonna see this weird haze and it totally messes up your filming well, i i pulled some fins for you we're gonna try those on and then we're gonna have you without any training go in the water and try and swim underwater as far as you can and then i'm gonna give you a few without, tips oh without the fin no with the fin with the fin okay right? we're gonna give you a few tips uh, on both breathing preparation and with technique and then see if we can improve how far you can swim underwater okay All right, so what we're working on today is that we're gonna try and get him more comfortable. He's gonna swim all the way down to the other end of the pool and try and turn and come back as far as he feels comfortable. Don't push it too hard. But remember, focus on your breathing. You inhale, exhale. And since you have the mask on, just breathe through your mouth. Keep your hands in the water, relax, and then just breathe. No rush, no rush. <laughs> you don't have to go now. Did shooting digital is cheap. We're not wasting film. Don't worry about it. All right, there he goes. All right, so I told him if he feels comfortable on the water, he can actually go and make a turn at the end. But he was a little bit too 
quick to go, meaning he should have spent some more time breathing. All right? Let's see how he does here. Is he gonna freak out and come up? No, he didn't. He's turning. All right. That's no bad still. All right, good <laughs> the job. Turning, man. The turning was crazy. Right. So the fins. Fins. Yeah, yeah made, you got these big old things on the bottom <laughs> of your feet. Turned. Make it makes it crazy. Right. But good job. Just take a couple minutes here, breathe up, do one more. And then we're going to get out of the water, then we can talk some fun things like gear. Whoa. So what do you think? It's great, but the turning, the turning is crazy. Like, it's really The best crazy. thing to do when you're turning is just to put your, swim all the way till your hands are on the wall. And then use the wall to help you turn. Oh. It's so the sun there, so you can see bare shadows underneath right here, so because the sun there directly above my head. But this place is pretty nice, you know? Before I go out in the deep end. So, let's go and practice proper breathing technique and learning how to use these, these long fins. It's pretty long. Yeah, we're going, yeah, as him said, way out there, sun, right? So there's a free diving platform there, and the platform is anchored at 172 feet, right? We're going to swim to the keys. Boy, swim go way out there, sun. And then, um, then go yeah, whoop. We'll test the depths. See if we can go 115 feet today. Feel again? Alright, the only thing is, alright, so the only thing on me can say is just that it's a base on these, it, it, it different from the, the smaller ones in mouth, so maybe maybe not. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, just don't go past the comfort zone, right? Mm -hmm. So guys, that's it for today. Today has been one of the greatest days of my life. I'm tired. So here we are. I'll get I'll catch you again in the next one. I'm tired. Sign out. Now that you got me started, I just can't No no Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I won't let go. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down, along came you. Though you might be a liar and a cheat too. I just can't quit you now, cause I love you.